We now move back to 1993. Microsoft releases its complementary operating system to DOS-based Windows NT. Windows NT was written in C and C++, and it was meant for businesses and workstation computers to have a more stable operating system. And Windows NT was designed to be like Unix. It was going to be multi-user and uh, multi-processing, and it was able to do that. Windows NT also introduced the NT file system, NTFS, which is still used today. And basically, Windows NT had two complementary operating systems to it. You had a workstation version, which was for desktop computers, then you had a server edition, which was for servers. And this still continues today with XP and Server 2003, Vista and Server 2008, and Windows 7 and 2008 R2. Windows NT introduced a lot of different things, including the, um, the task manager, which is great for um, knowing how much CPU a process is using. And the first version of NT was NT 3.1. Windows NT 3.1 pretty much was made to be compatible with Windows 3.1. Windows 3.5 was a little upgrade to 3.1, not much of a difference. And 3.51 was actually able to run on PowerPC, so that was nice. Now, as I was saying, I would show you guys Windows NT 3.51, but it does not run in virtual machine. Windows NT3 could not run on anything better than Pentium. It had to be p below Pentium actually. But what I will show you guys is the next version of Windows NT which was NT4.0. NT4.0 was released in 1996 and it tried to look like Windows 95 with the start button and taskbar. And 4.0 was the most adopted version, much more than uh, 3.1.5 or whatever. This was the first version to have the task manager in it. It came in workstation and server. Those were the two major versions. And you could actually download Internet Explorer 6, Service Pack 1 on NT4. Let's have a look at NT4 Workstation. I'm not going to be showing server due to a lack of time on the video, but it looks pretty much the same as NT4 Workstation. So we're given two options. We can do regular or VGA. We'll just do regular for now. Let it do the loading here. And yes, this is the splash screen for NT4. Remember, this was made for uh, workstations, businesses, so you couldn't expect uh, some eye candy. So we'll go ahead and log in to NT4. Password. So we get pretty much the same welcome screen as Windows 95, it just says NT right here. And it pretty much looks the same. As you can see, you have a start button, you got icons, a taskbar. Something different is this task manager right here. Task manager it shows all of your open uh, processes, gives memory usage and CPU, which was really nice back in the day. As you can see, Windows NT Task Manager. Windows NT also had the command prompt, which was not a DOS prompt. So, just to let you guys know that. As you can see, you still have the same background stuff. I guess I installed Microsoft Plus already, okay. 
So we'll go ahead and choose a different background. This one. This looks pretty good. There we go, that looks nice. Anyway, the windows uh, still look the same. The Explorer windows, that is. You have the three buttons here, file, all of this right here. And Let's see what else we have. We've got a services uh, thing, services.msc, I believe. And this shows all of your stuff, like TCP, IP, printer, spooler, schedule, scheduler, plug and play, all of this. You can disable it right here, or enable it. You can go to properties, you have a... thing right here. And Windows NT pretty much was Windows 95 for businesses, but it was not widely adopted in the home market because it required too much RAM, uh, too hard on the system, and it was sometimes unstable. And the next uh, operating system we're going to be looking at will come out in 1998, and it'll be for the home, Windows 98.